Pastor Dow in that ministry is a ministry of the devil. Pastor Dow been married before to a one woman. I think he divorced his first wife and married the first wife of this ministry. And from this first wife in this ministry, he got two other wives. And I get and I'm guessing the younger one is uh Elder Rufus' daughter. And from my understanding, I seen something that said that woman was married. Elder Rufus' daughter wasn't even divorced from her husband when Dow started messing with her. I seen this. I seen other comments. I see other stuff. Dow lured them people up there to make them think that they can come and live free and be at ease and they're going to take care of them and stuff like that and be don't have to worry about nothing. Them people go up there and get trapped. I see stories. I'm seeing stories now. I be, Before I actually started talking to them and doing, before I came to YouTube for the first time, I was already had about seven years of looking at Dow. I would I would never really look at him a long time. I would look at him here and there. But when I first started looking at him, I already could tell that he wasn't right. I can tell by the stuff he said. He was all he always talking about what's going on in the world. Always doing and you can you can hear the way a person talk. It don't take long to form an opinion on what type of person this person is. For him to be supposed to be a man of God, he talked too much about stuff that's going on in the world and try to use that to come to speak to people. That's where a lot of conservatives are. They want to use what's going on in the world as a weapon to draw people in. And this is what he got going on. This is how he built this church. A lot of them people are weak. And he know that. The world going to come to an end. It's all doom and gloom. Uh, fear marker. That, that's how he built this on fear marker. People took to that. Yeah, we can go up here and be free. We can go up and have security. We can go up here and work and, and don't have to worry about, uh, you know what I'm saying? People flock to that, pack up their stuff and drive up there. Then they get entangled in that mess. You got a wife and a family. You got a wife and some, and some daughters. You really messing up. That man already very y'all, you men as weak, not being able to take care of your family. That's why you're going up there. He already looking at that. They already evaluating that. That man personality, he don't care. He he gonna beat up on you, make you feel bad. He gonna you don't. Why would any man such subject himself to that? I know a lot of people don't really check it out. Don't really study folk, they just hear something and they drop everything and they go run. That's the, that's a big mistake. The man done destroyed families. The man done split up families. Man done took his family up there now found out something ain't right, don't like it, won't leave. Now, Dow done indoctrinated your wife and your daughters and push you out there. Now they stand back. I'm seeing these stories. He taking your wives. He taking your daughters. That man got a sexual appetite that is not right. 
and a lot of them other elders up there, they like that. They want that same thing. Multiple wives. Multiple girlfriends. That dad done indoctrinated all of them. They feel like that's right and that's what they should have. I should have a whole slew of women. I should have them. In. You want to take lure them men up there with their family, then you drive them apart. You, you use them other women to in, help indoctrinate them women. Adding them to the fold. What type of mess is that? That's wrong. That is morally wrong. In itself. The man got a personality. He'll draw you in. Then he'll beat you up. Use his persona. A lot of them men are already weak. They ain't going to stand up. They are. They are. Once you go up there, you done gave in anyway. You barely making it. He's a bully. Prove that. He's straight up a bully. Bully his way and split your family up. And most likely, the women going to give in. They in their camp. They going to feel like they got security. They feel... And I'm, I'm seeing the story of men leaving and being forced to leave their wives and their children behind. What type of stuff is that? What type of stuff is that? There's, that? That type of stuff destroys a man's mind. It's wicked. That's satanic no matter how you cut it. Y'all people that I try y'all people need to stop being so weak and falling for people. And falling for stuff. Churches have a reputation. People in the church have a reputation. Religious people have a reputation for doing that. Gullible. Fall for anything. I know it didn't look good. You need help. Oh, he he uh, got land. He going to put us up. All we got to do is just work the land and do this and do that. You go up there on them camps, your life get harder physically and mentally. It get harder. The moment you step on that camp, on them campuses, your life automatically get harder. Look what kind of hand you under. Look what kind of authority you are. Just dry, split them families up. A man feel like he can have multiple wives and be right, even though the law and the Bible say he can't? What kind of mindset is that? You know you falling a maniac. Then he don't respect only certain people. Then he turned on them like he did Rufus. He turned on them. You can't trust that man. That man don't have no respect for folk. The only way he respect you, you better do everything you are told with gladness. You better bend over backwards to please that man. If not, you're going to become an enemy very soon. It's plain to see. I've been saying that. I'm seeing the results now. People leave their camp. Then he destroy them, gang up on them. Them elders follow that stuff because of the sexual nature. They like that stuff. The sexual appetite. People like it. The flesh like it. Yeah, I ought to be able to have multiple wives. Two or three wives. Two or three wives. No, that's all I want. But the Bible say one woman. One man. 
we see this stuff on TV. A lot of me, I sit there and watch the stuff sometimes. You feel it start, if you pay attention to law, it indoctrinates. You feel like this, you should have it. It's the flesh. God said one woman, one man, one family. Then it is what it is. I ought to be able to marry, legally have four wives. I ought to be able to legally have five wives. If you view David and Solomon and throw them out there, how many is enough? How many is enough? Then it, that that mentality rise up and rise up. I can take your wife. I can take your daughter. That stuff become a habit of taking me and families. And watch and, and watch them go crazy and drive them. You're gonna take their families. Take their daughters. Preachers have been known to sleep with mamas and daughters. Not just Dow. I'm not saying he's doing it, but I'm just saying as a preacher standpoint, is history in the churches. That dude on YouTube, Dawson, he been doing those stories for a long time. Preachers have been known to sleep with mamas and daughters and nieces. The sexual appetite in religion, especially in the Christian so-called God-centered religion, is way out there. Homosexuality. All sorts of sexual impurity. Just add them women to the fold. Add them girls to the fold. Probably groom them. Grooming them women, them girls, if they get old enough, then you add them to your fold. I got a wife and two daughters. The thought of being subjected to something like that already put me in a uh, like what 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 can you do? How you swallow that pill? You go and and take your family there to somewhere like that, and you about a year or two in, you start seeing stuff. Then you start your you notice you your wife and stuff and start being indoctrinated. Your daughters are being, then boom, a split. And I got to leave here. But my daughters and my wife done been indoctrinated and they willing to le uh, stand behind in most cases. You can go, but you're going to stay here. That drive a man crazy. Knowing you done lost your family to something like that. You ain't got nothing. Y'all can be better men. Y'all got y'all don't have to uh look at a man as your savior. There's a wrong with society. They look at humans as they saviors. Church leaders. People that hold about, they look at them as they say you. They, 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 they're not your savior. Pastor Dow wrong for what he done sought up up there. I'm going to lure people in with the with the lure. I'm going to help them build a family. I'm going to encourage men to be men. I'm gonna, and at the same time, you got ulterior motives. Alternative motives. You want to drive them, drive their families apart. When you got a sexual demon, you can almost guarantee that's gonna have that's gonna happen. Might not even like your wife. You're just gonna do it just because no he can do it, just to get a reaction out of you, just to destroy you. That's the type of mindset people have. They like to mind play folks. I'm gonna take your wife just because I can take her. And dare you to do anything about it. My minister's going to bag me up. 
but you definitely can't do nothing with me. I'm going to put you out. You know what I'm saying? You got to eat that. Others just leave. It's sad. Elder Rufus and all them other guys. I seen what uh, him and uh, even uh, Pete Rambo fell out. I seen that when he when Pete Rambo first went up there and started dealing with Dow on that uh, uh, Israel stuff and all that stuff. He wanted to bait Genesis and all that. I already said this ain't going to last long. And lo and behold, they fell out. They fell out. Now Rufus is gone. I was told, I heard that Rufus had like, once he found out that he he had only so many days to be off the camp in Georgia. What type of stuff is that? Y'all guys need to repent. Get away from that ministry. If you're thinking about joining that ministry, get away from that ministry. Join my ministry. I ain't trying to take advantage of nobody. I'm not trying to take nobody from I got a wife and six kids. I ain't trying to indoctrinate nobody. I'm not trying to indoctrinate nobody. I don't want nobody wife and daughter. That's just wrong. Yeah, I got eyes. I look at women and stuff here and there. Sometimes even flirt with women. I know it's wrong. We know you see, you know stuff is wrong when you're a man of God. You know it's wrong. I'm not finna go to the point of try to force my wife to accept me having multiple wives and all this stuff. Once you have once that sexual appetite rise up in you, you can't put nothing out. Ain't ain't nothing ain't nothing gonna uh Ain't nothing too far fetched. Even your own daughters. It was in the Bible. Own daughter. Start looking good to you. Me and me have always messed with their nieces. Aunties always have messed with their uh, nephews and stuff. Cause of, out of convenience. Cousins. Pastor Dow ain't right. I told y'all, man, up there and get drunk on the weekend. Yeah, he worked. I gave him credit for being a hardworking man. But they use everything to their advantage. People, it's a lot of weak-minded people in the world. They see stuff like that. They be drawn into it. They have Jim Jones. David Koresh. What this other one? Me and my wife were just talking about him last night. Can't think of his name. Just went to prison not too a few years ago. That stuff is real. Y'all men need to. Do something to get your mind stronger. You won't have to be drawn into nothing like that. Discernment. Before you get involved in something like discernment, look at it. That's what I did. I looked at that when I first came across him. I was looking at him here and there. I never would really listen to him, but I listened to a little bit here and there. I, on, it didn't take me long to figure out what type of person that I was. I think what really made me start looking at his video about him doing construction and laying on blocks and stuff. And that's why I started clicking on, listening to him and stuff like that. But I started hearing the way he was talking. That Phil Margaret, I, I drew a conclusion right there. That man ain't right. And lo and behold, what's going on? 